Well, just like Pantone colors, jobs come and go, but a career never goes out of style. And if you want to make the transition, Tracy Tim is a Dallas career clarity catalyst. We're going to get to that in a minute. Who <laughs> wants to take your career from stuck to unstoppable? And that sounds good to a lot of people at this time of year, particularly. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you for being here. So, first of all, why don't you tell us what's a career clarity catalyst? Yeah, so I obviously gave myself that title. <laughs> um, but catalysts are there to precipitate change. So, the way that I view my job is really helping people gain the clarity that they've been lacking to then have the confidence to make the career change that they're really looking for. So something that has long-term sustainability as opposed to just putting a band-aid on the career problem, which is I don't like my job. I'm just looking for something else. The job market here in yes. North Texas is one of the hottest in the country, yes. one of the best in the country. What would you, how would you describe it at this point for people who are watching and maybe thinking about looking for something new? Yeah, so the really great thing about being in Texas is that if you look at fastest growing cities and cities with the most job opportunities, Texas cities account for five of the top 11, with Austin being number one and Dallas being number seven. So we're in an amazing place to really, to, to take the risks maybe that we need to find a job we really love as opposed to one that we just go to every day. So if you're sitting there watching this morning and you're not really satisfied with your job, maybe you're at home sick because you're really not satisfied <laughs> with your job. What are five uh, areas that are really good to look in right now? Yeah, so right now we're seeing a lot of growth based on macro and economic trends. So you guys all know Dallas, sometimes we call it Crane City, so we're seeing a lot of growth in architecture and construction. And then as we have an aging population, the baby boomers, mm -hmm. right, we're going to see more and more in healthcare. Um, so in addition to that, we've got education, computer science, and then office and administrative jobs are also growing. What about the medical and science fields around here? Yep, I'm seeing a lot too. more of that. Yeah, also having a lot to do with the aging, um, you know, baby boomer population and then the growing millennial population, which is needing more and more sort of unique care as well. So also very important. Okay, so if you're sitting out there and you're thinking, well, I'm kind of interested in health care or I'm sort of interested in something that might have to do with building and construction, there are several things to consider before you go searching for a career. You have a five-step process that helps you find the right path. Yes, correct. Can you briefly explain that? Yes, so I think that this is the most important part and this is the part that everybody skips, is that we look at reports or job boards or LinkedIn for opportunities as opposed to starting with, what do we really want? What do we really care about? So my five-step process is called the nth degree. The five steps are now, nature, nurture, network, and navigate, because I love words. <laughs> uh, but the now phase is where we start and we really want to get clear on what somebody's core values are. Mm -hmm. and then we create a set of commitments around those core values, which is kind of like if you go to the grocery store and you're going to buy peanut butter, you're not going to look at the whole wall of peanut butter. You're going to know I only like crunchy or creamy or I like all natural. Um, I call that the peanut butter problem. Uh, but then we want to refine those commitments by your nature and your nurture. So your nature are your natural gifts and talents and your nurture are the things that you've learned how to do over time. And where those three things come together, we really have what I call somebody's niche. And your niche is what takes you from a commodity, which is just a resume mm -hmm. on a stack or even a digital stack of resumes nowadays and turns you into a unique value-added asset for a business. And then after that, we want to network our way to success and then navigate uh, after that. Okay, so a job report comes out. Yes. What should you keep in mind when you look at the job report? So the most important thing about job reports is to better understand economic and macro trends. So if I'm interested in an industry, let's say like publishing, then I really want to understand that publishing has changed over the years and will be changing very significantly going forward as we get more and more digital. So it's less of a focus on what's available and more of a focus on what fits me really well. I think that's the best way to use job reports. And you say people should not automatically overlook things that are blue collar mm, that they mm -hmm. might go past. Yeah, so I, there's no you know substitute for boots on the ground research. And I have a lot of friends and colleagues who are uh, in education and tell me that, you know, college isn't for everybody anymore and that's okay and in fact if you if that's not for you and you want to go into a trade school a technical school um, there are so many opportunities in construction in air traffic control uh, in construction and mm -hmm. management right that you know those are really lucrative jobs that we can't overlook okay thanks yeah. for being here today I've always considered myself so fortunate that I've had a job that I love yes. all my life so it's like doing something you love every day is so important it's in totally your key. overall life it changes everything thank you so much Tracy has books videos and programs on her website you can go to tracytim.com for more information